Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dick. I am doing something new. I mentioned this in an earlier video. I am actually going to show you automation, robotics and manufacturing and other videos and comment and show you what is actually going on. So what I wanna to talk to y'all about today is the video that you're currently seeing on the right side of my screen is a video from 2019 is BMW car factory and robots. And this is a perfect example. Again, this is from 2019. So companies like BMW have already been using automation and we'll go through and the picture you see already, this appears to be a X5. As I said, this is a video from 2019. So I will play the video, video and I will comment and we will talk about, well, not we, I will talk about this and you can leave your comments below, but I am going to show you automation firsthand. So here we go. As you can see, the robot, again, I'm taking a break to show y'all. These are jobs that regular people would usually do. And I'm going to find videos. I saw some videos from the 1800s, early 1900s with assembly lines. I'm going to comment. I want you to think about this. If you currently work in a manufacturing environment, or you know people that do this is what this is what humans would do you have these robots they're lifting the hood and i'm about to play the video and show you the rest of it just look at that these robots are moving through doing all of the jobs humans would do this appears to be something being um lasered in or using some kind of heat I'm not sure what that is, but if I find out, I'll let y'all know. But just look at this. These are jobs that humans usually would do. And now you have robots doing this. So we need to skip through a little bit of this. We will. So. Now, here's another part of the process. This appear, This is sheet metal. No, you haven't seen any humans yet in the process. All of this is being done by machines. As we know, that is a press. I'm going to go back to that part. And this brought up this brought up a good point that I'm going to. to um, oops, here we go. If y'all remember in the movie Eight Mile, remember Eminem, they're in that factory pressing parts. And when you see this press go through, that's the first thing that came to mind. When Eminem was in the factory, you know, he was working there in the movie eight mile and he will work there and then he will go at night to do the rap battle so when i saw that that's the first thing that i actually thought of but just look at this this is the press the robots are actually grabbing it now look at the robots they're moving every part of the process again what i want people to realize you have not seen any people yet i want you to think about that you have not seen any people in the process. Let's just go through this. We're going to continue to go through this. Stop. I'm going to go back a little bit. There we go. I got my space bar to work on the Mac. First of all, you see two humans. They look like they're walking around observing. That is the future of advanced manufacturing automation robots. We have two people right here. It appears to be two or three. They're just observing the process as it's going along. The robots are doing everything. And again, I want to tell y'all, this video is from 2019. So this video is actually five years old. Look at all that. These one, two, three, three robots appear to be putting stuff in, welding. Let's see. No, they're not welding. They're actually, yep, I saw a welder arm move in. So just look at this. These were jobs that people actually would have done, but now you have a robot that is doing it. They're welding. They're welding on the frame. And I want y'all to think about the man hours that are 
eliminate it by having the robots do it. They still have to have people in there in case the robot, because robots and machines are not perfect. What you see is the robots doing the actual um, welding, but somebody still has to check them. Again, think about how many people's jobs are eliminated just by these robots doing this well, doing these welds. Look at all this, putting the adhesive or the glue down for on the frame. Again, I want y'all to remember, we have not seen any people. You see a guy back there in an the orange vest with a safety vest on. They're just observing or feeding raw material in. Haven't seen any people at all. Yep, that's adhesive or some type of glue. This is what people usually would do in a factory. Now I'm stopping the video to show y'all. Just look what is going on. I mean, this is what goes on in factories right now, previously, and this is going to continue to get even stronger. Yes, again, the robots may um, make some, no, I'm not going to say may, they do mess up, but there has to be somebody that's a software engineer, an electrical engineer, a blue collar person that is an electrician, because all of this works by electricity. Regardless or not, you still have to have those kind of people around. Let's continue with the video. That is amazing. It's doing all of the adhesives. It's not welding. It's putting down some adhesives. And if I need to, y'all, I'll skip through some of these types of parts. But now you have, excuse me, some more cars moving through the factory. These shells right here. Pretty awesome, isn't it? That's why I'm going to stop the video. That's why I am telling um, people, if you learn how artificial intelligence and automation works, these factories, when these machines mess up, that's where you can get paid to be the subject matter expert. So if you want to take a look at this video that I'm getting this from BMW Car Robots Production Fast Manufacturing, I will list it in the comments. I mean, I will list it in the video description.